just your season as a whole, you know, after, you know, barely playing the season before, how much did it mean to you to come back and, and, you know, you had surgery to have this kind of bounce back? Yeah, that was the biggest thing for me is, you know, just trying to stay healthy. And um, obviously um, COVID got, you know, most of us, but other than that, I was, I was healthy and um, that was the biggest thing for me. And just your thoughts on the whole situation with Jeff. I mean, he's only an NHL coach you've known. Um, yeah, I had him in Grand Rapids. I've had him my whole career, actually, in playing yeah. pro. And uh, <clears throat> we've had, uh, you know, we've had a lot of success in, in Grand Rapids um, and in Detroit. Um, you know, obviously, you no know, playoffs in Detroit, but, um, you know, we've won some, you know, some games and, and we've had some good moments. And um, obviously, it's, it's a tough, uh, it's a tough spot. And, you know, it's just like guys getting traded or, or not making the team anymore. You know, you just think to uh, move on. Thank you. And Sarkhan. Yeah, Tyler, uh, just getting to 30. I mean, how special a milestone uh, is that for you personally? Is that something that as the season near, near the end there and you were getting closer that, that you really kind of wanted to focus on? Yeah, that was, yeah, that was my goal. Um, not really coming into the season, but as the season went on and, um, you know, I, I obviously really wanted it and, um, you know, I'm very happy I did. And, um, you know, my teammates played a big part in that and, um, you know, it was, it was a special moment for me. And uh, just uh, this summer, I mean, how important is it, uh, or do you want to get a deal done just to kind of avoid uh having that be a distraction going into next season. Sorry, sorry, say that again. Yeah, uh, getting a deal done this summer with the team, is that important to you to, to avoid uh, potential, uh, have it be a potential distraction during the season? Um, I mean, it's not, um, obviously I want to, you know, sign here, I, I love it here. And, um, you know, every player wants to, you know, sign, sign contracts and, and be in the league as long as possible. And, um, you know, I still have another year left and, um, you know, I think our whole team and everyone on the team is trying to have a good summer in the gym and, and try and get better and, and be better for next year. Thanks. Max Waltman. <clears throat> hey, Tyler, just to bring you back to the goal the other night, <clears throat> what did it mean to you to see the way kind of your teammates reacted to that milestone for you? I think there was a video, I think it was Raymond, like literally jumping up and down on, on the bench. Like what, what go, I don't know if you saw the video, but what, what goes through your mind when you see all that stuff? Yeah, it's awesome. Um, you know, we all play for each other and, um, you know, it was a special moment for me and, and they made it even more special. And, um, you know, to see the reaction, um, it meant a lot to me. How, how did your back feel kind of as the season went along? Was it something that, you know, were you still noticing it? Did it, did it play in at all or, or did you kind of just feel normal again? Um, at this, I, I had training camp. Um, I needed a couple of days. Um, it was getting a little sore and then, you know, I, I was actually kind of worried about it. And then I was, it was really good throughout the year. Um, I had no problems at all. Um, and I was very happy about that. And other than training camp, obviously training camp is hard. So, um, that was the biggest thing for me to get over was training camp. And then I was, I was good the rest of the year, no problems. And then lastly, how's uh, fatherhood been? And, uh, are you, uh, caught up on your, your diaper debt now that you've had some free time at home? I know I'm I'm on diaper duty now for a couple of weeks, I think. <laughs> Thanks, Tyler. Um, thanks. Ted Colfin. Good luck with that, Tyler. That's all I gotta say. Um <clears throat> when you came into the league, I mean, I guess some people thought maybe he I mean, are you surprising yourself or did you kind of expect to be kind of like a 20, 30 goal scorer? <laughs> I mean, is this something that you kind of thought you could do in the league? I mean, I think as every year I've I've gotten a little bit better in, in different skill sets and um, juniors, you know, I, I, you know, I got a lot better every year just because you're so young and then in pro and, um, you know, I just, I think I'm going to continue to get better every year. And, um, you know, I think that I can score 20. Yeah. And then obviously I, I scored 30 and, and I'm just going to try and keep doing what I'm doing. And, um, you know, we just got to get more wins next year. How have you changed as a player, like from junior or something? Have you changed much as a player, you think? 
Uh, yeah, I think, you know, I, I was in junior my first two years. I think I was, you know, more of a checker, more of a, you know, um, a four checker and, and more of a, you know, defensive player. And um, my skill sets changed a little bit over the, over the last few years. And I need to grow with that and, and see where, you know, my career takes me and where everything takes me. Do you feel like you had those skills, offensive skills, or is that just like you said something that you worked on or what? I feel like I had them. I, they just didn't come out yet. Um, I think just with growing as a player and then playing, you know, in Grand Rapids and, and growing in Grand Rapids helped me a lot. Um, and just learning every year and, and um, you know, just trying to get better, you know, on and off the ice, um, you know, I think led me to here. The last one. So is the losing – I mean, Dylan kind of broached it a little bit. Is it frustrating a little? Is it getting to the point where it's frustrating and definitely you guys want to change something here going forward? Yeah, I mean, I feel like we've been having this talk for three years now. Um, yeah, it's very frustrating. Um, and we got to come together as a group, as a team, and and trying to get over this hump. That's good. Good luck with the diapers. See you. Thanks, Tyler. Jennifer Hammond? They'll be in college before you know it. That's my two cents. Um, quick question for you, Tyler. Nice to see you. I, I guess my curiosity is everybody is um, praising what Blash was able to do for the last seven years here, but kind of took the team to as far as it could go and you guys have kind of reached a level of, I don't know, plateau, stagnation, what, whatever word you want to use. What in your mind does the next coach need to do to really kind of help lift this team over that hump? Um, I don't really know, honestly, um, you know, a lot of it's the players and then a lot of it's, you know, the coach and, um, you know, Steve's going to find a coach for us and, um, you know, we'll, we'll go from there. Do you feel like you guys as players need to kind of take the opportunity this summer to, for lack of a better term, take a look in the mirror and, you know, guys who are leaders, scoring leaders, leaders in the room. <clears throat> really kind of push or, or pull things along to a, to a certain degree? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, we, uh, we're the ones that are putting the skates on and going out on the ice and, um, you know, a lot of it's on us and, and we got to be, you know, a lot better. And, um, you know, I think we will be better, you know, young guys coming up and, you know, just even me, you know, Larks and just, just, um, you know, playing another year and getting more experience and, um, you know, I'd be, you know, obviously we need to be better next year. And, um, you know, I think we have to be. Thank you. All right. Those are all the questions we had. Tyler, thanks for the time this morning. And we'll be back at 1230 this afternoon with Sam Gagne.